In this video, we're going to be talking about a special sequence called a geometric sequence. Um, so the definition of the geometric sequence is the following. Let r be a real number, then r to the n would be the formula for the nth term of our geometric sequence. So r here um, stands for ratio. Okay, and we're interested in the values of R for which um, this geometric sequence would converge. Okay, so we're going to go through a couple of examples of some geometric sequences and think about um, whether they converge or diverge, and then we'll summarize um, for what values of R this type of sequence converges and what values um, it diverges for. So one example of a geometric sequence would be something that starts with one half, and to get to the next term, we would always be multiplying by one half. So I'd have one half, one fourth, one eighth, one sixteenth, etc. So this would be a geometric sequence with r equals one half. Okay, so the nth term is one half to the n. So looking at these terms here, we see that um, as I'm taking one half of the previous term each time, my terms are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It looks like my nth term is actually going to end up converging to zero. So this is a sequence that converges. Okay, well what if we took some other value here for our starting point? Say I started at 3 and I'm multiplying each term by 3 to get to the next one. Then that's an example of a geometric sequence with r equals 3, okay, and it looks like our terms are getting bigger and bigger and bigger each time I'm multiplying the previous term by 3, so that's a sequence that is diverging. Okay, what if we took on some sort of negative value for our r? So let's say I start here with negative 3 fourths, and I'm going to multiply each time by negative 3 fourths. So I have um, negative 3 fourths to begin with, and then positive 9 over 16, then negative 27 over 64, etc. here. So I have r equals negative 3 fourths. So it might be hard to tell um, what these numbers are converging to here. Um, but if we think about what we're doing here, because I'm multiplying each, of the, each previous term by negative 3 fourths, I'm taking essentially 75% of the previous term, and I have these alternating signs. So if you keep taking 75% of what you had before, your values are going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So even though this is going to oscillate back and forth, we're going to get smaller and smaller um, oscillations. So this will end up converging to zero. So that's another example of a geometric sequence that converges. Okay, so we looked at some values here, bigger than one, smaller than one, positive and negative values. Let's look at what happens specifically at one and negative one. So if r is one, notice that one to the m would just mean all of my terms here are one. So a sequence of all ones, well clearly that's going to converge, that'll converge to one. Okay. If I have r equals negative one though, so I'm going to have negative one to the n is my nth term, then I'm going to have um, the sequence that alternates between negative one and one. Okay, so that's going to be a series, excuse me, a sequence that diverges because it's going to keep jumping back and forth between negative one and one. Okay, so just looking at these examples, we're starting to get an idea of for what values of R um, this sequence might converge and what values it will definitely diverge for, such as values bigger than one, it's definitely going to diverge. So let's look at our summary here. So this geometric sequence, R to the n, converges for the values of r that are between negative 1 and 1, including 1 but not including negative 1. Okay, because we see that at negative 1 it's going to diverge. You plug in things even smaller than negative 1, you're going to be taking um, or multiplying the previous thing by something in absolute value anyway bigger than, bigger than 1, so you're going to have something that um, is oscillating here, but between numbers that are that are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, at 1 we see that it definitely converges, and if I take a value between negative 1 and 1, like I saw with the r equals 1 half, or the r equals negative 3 fourths, I am going to get um, my terms converging. Okay, So if it's outside of this range, 
it diverges. Okay, what about the values that it will converge to? Okay, we've already kind of talked about that a little bit, but it turns out that our limit as n goes to infinity of Rn will equal zero when R is between negative one and one. Okay, it'll equal one when R equals one. Okay, and otherwise, Okay, that limit will be something going to infinity or negative infinity or does not exist. Okay, so knowing these properties of um, the geometric sequence will be useful in a, in a few of our sequence examples and will also come up again when we talk about geometric series, which is where I would take terms of this sort of pattern and add them together.